Maya actually means the non-realism or non-truth. Truth is one. Like for example, there is no anet separate from Mohanji. This is the truth. Means physical body is separate. Yeah, yeah. But physical body you took because you need to experience whatever you experience in life. But consciousness wise, you can't have a separation. That is the truth. But Maya makes you feel you are separate. So that is the, that illusory side of the existence. Yeah? The same thing happens in our mind. That is why mind is the daughter of Maya or son of Maya. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so mind makes you feel like, see for example, even our laughter, mind controls, right? Sometimes we can't, even if it's the greatest of jokes, we fail to laugh. Because mind says, mind think, gives you some other input. Mm. The situation is, is nice, it's comical. <coughs> but mind is giving you a, a different uh, serum, uh, vaccine. Yes. So you fail to laugh. Many times it happens. The, the truth is in, in hand, but you fail to see. That is not, of, not your fault. That's because mind did not allow you. Mind had a different uh, thing. So mind is the maya there. Mind is the illusion there. Mind uh, made the illusion so that you could not see this thing. Illusion of separation. Illusion of separation, illusion of non-identification or non-understanding. Basically ignorance. Illusion of ignorance is the right word. Because uh, truth is one, uh, which is for everyone is the same. It cannot be relative. Like uh, uh, the taste of the food actually has to be same. But each tongue has a different understanding of the taste. And some, sometimes rejection as well. So that, that doesn't mean that the food is the culprit there. Our, our level of awareness is the culprit. Or our level of um, the capacity to assimilation or capacity to understand is different. And that, that mind has a big role to play. You know, that is why we categorize between teachers also, spiritual teachers. Actually, what is the core of every, every spirituality? To be one with God, nothing else. There is nothing else you need to know in spirituality. In, in, if you ask in one sentence, liberation, one word actually, liberation. There is nothing else you need to know, nothing else you have to do. But why are we going through various processes? Because we are trying to take detours from the mind. And mind also plays on with us. Mind takes you in detours. You know? And finally we become tired. Or mind becomes tired. Either of them. We are not the mind anyway. But uh, then we reach the absolute truth. Oh, so this was so close, I could not see. You know? Many times it so happens that oh, it, I, I knew it. Until the other person tells you. But we fail to see it. That is our... Not our incapacity. That is the way. That is the way we have made our state. Our state is like that. The state makes the feeling. It, it has many inputs. Environment, as we said, possible. Physical uh, possibilities, health or whatever. Uh, spiritual, I mean, spiritual, emotional, intellectual. Every aspect has a contribution to it, which alienates you from the truth. But truth can never be two. You see, truth has to be one. But we fail to see, it's because that is the state we are operating. One more thing is that state and stature has a lot of difference. You can buy state. A state you can probably acquire. Like if somebody gives you a title, that, that is a good thing. But stature has got to be earned. Stature is something where you stand or where you are operating from. Which level is your level of operation? That has to be earned. Means you have to reach there. And for that reaching, you have to dissolve yourself quite a lot. If you dissolve yourself, your identity is quite a lot. Then what fills in is more of a cosmical identity or a consciousness which is of a larger nature. If you always exist as your limited entity, you and that is separate always. The moment you start dissolving, you, you become like this uh, candle. It, it melts and melts and melts. Then it becomes just light, you know, only that, nothing else, emptiness. Like that, if you are separate from another, there is always a comparison, there is always a non-understanding. But when you become one with it, even mentally, or like uh, how do uh, people unite, people get married, etc. They, they have some compatibility which they feel they have, and <laughs> that brings them together. And then uh, they go on for some time until they realize it's not so true. But <laughs> <laughs> but, 
Okay. But at least illusion stays for some time, right? Uh, illusion does stay for some time. That time is enjoyable. You know, that is all life is all about. You cannot you cannot ask for a permanent enjoyment. Because we are hopping from pleasure to pleasure, not have perpetual happiness. This is the difference. When we move from one pleasure to the other, there is always a dependent climb. But when we are in perpetual happiness, that means we are self-reliant, self-sufficient, <coughs> when we are operating in our own uh, strength, that time happiness is perpetual because it's not dependent on something. Expectation level is low, satisfaction level is high. You know, this is the point here. That's what we were talking in the morning as well. Like when uh, life gives you a twist in the whole scenario, what you call a sting in the tail, not T-A-I-L, T-A-A-D. <laughs> when it stings on the tail, then we are suddenly jerked, you know, we feel hey, something we have to do. At that point in time, if you take it on as, okay, this is a prop opportunity, completely dark, but it's fine. And then we start to look for the matchbox and maybe eventually we find it and we like, that's a different room, a different scenario, a different probably set of people, different life. It's probably a reinvention. And that reinvention is always good for life because you, you, you transform yourself. You, you shift yourself to the next level. Sometimes life gives that to you, kicks your butt. You know, you can't handle it. Then you are forced to shift. But with awareness if you shift, this is better. So that your, your equilibrium is always maintained. It's not that you are put, put into, the, into the forest and then you are fighting for your life. That is different. But you, you went into the forest and you said, okay, let me navigate through it and, and use your skills to go through. That brings you more power. Both, both are going to the same direction, but this, the positive one is the one with more awareness. Means you are using your awareness to navigate. This is more important than pushed into it. Destiny pushes you. That is also possible.